Just wrapped up the first day of Bulldog soccer practice alongside head coach Greg Henson and coach. First and foremost, just how'd you feel seeing the players all back on the field today? Oh, it's great to have them back on campus. You know, we got them back earlier this weekend on campus, and and just the energy that they bring, to, you know, to get the season started, um, is always great. And, and first day is first day, right? But we got uh, some fitness testing out of the way this morning, and gave them a chance to play a little bit, and then back out on the field this afternoon um, for uh, for our second training session. And and uh, excited about uh, what the season, uh, you know, unfolds for us. Just a few practices really to get ready for that first exhibition game of the, of the season coming up this week. And then the regular season's fast approaching as well. What do you want to try to see through these early practices, uh, areas of growth, areas of improvement, things to focus on? Yeah, I mean, for us, the, the, the preseason scrimmages, you know, we're very grateful to Calvin and Northwood that they're going to come up and play us. And, and uh, you know, both very quality opponents. But we truly really treat them like practices. So it's just another, another chance for us to get on the field and get to play somebody else. So, you know, we've got two and a half weeks, you know, uh, basically to get ready for the opener um, against Cedarville here um, on September 5th and and that's where our focus lies and uh, but we got a lot of stuff to take care of in between there um, getting fit um, getting the new players acclimated to the to the team and uh, and all those type of things so it's it's one day at a time one session at a time right now and and uh, we'll, we'll focus on the process Looking ahead to your schedule, of course, uh, another difficult schedule put together. GLIAC competition is going to be right up there again this season. What do you expect to see from uh, some of the teams you're playing in the non-conference action and also once you get into conference play? Yeah, we've got you know multiple teams, um, you know, two or three non-conference opponents that were all national tournament teams last year and, and, and the past few years. Um, and uh, you know we, we schedule that for a reason, right? So we want to test ourselves. Um, we want to test ourselves in a non-conference. We also want to play quality regional opponents and and, uh, and 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 all that. So and then the conference is is a gauntlet now, right? And so uh, there's not an easy game in the conference. Every game is going to be a battle, um, one through nine in terms of the the teams in the standings. And so you know we got to we got we to bring it every weekend um, uh, once we get to that stage. So but we'll kind of like I said, focus on preseason right now, and um, then get through the four non-conference, and then we'll get the conference down the road. Are there any players that have really stood out? I know it's just been the, the one day of practice, but any players maybe you're expecting to see a big leap from this season? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if a big leap, you know, but just you know the, the same, you know, a lot of players come back. Right? We had a lot of returners um, that we're looking for them to step up um, into maybe more leadership roles, um, taking a little bit more accountability for for things on the field. You always look for your your freshmen to mature into sophomore roles and sophomores to juniors, and and the seniors always come back hungry, so you don't have to worry about them as much. So. You know, it's day one, so uh, you know a lot of promising things out here today that we saw, and and uh, but it's day one, right? So we got to kind of put it in perspective. So we'll uh, we'll see how things progress as we go this week. Then last question for you is just uh, the the improvement that Catherine Welch showed last year throughout her freshman season. Does that give you a lot of confidence for the state of the offense going into this season? Yeah, I think uh, you know Kat did a great job last year, put in a great freshman year. But like everybody else, you know, got to come back. It's a new year. Um, she's she's a known commodity now, so she's going to have that uh, to get through. It'll be a little bit different. Um, but we got some players that we look to the, the pair with her up front that I think will give us uh, you know a diverse scoring up, uh, punch up front. We won't be relying just on one player.